everybody this is Anna B or Anna Nicole B whatever you want to call me I really don't care <laughs> but I'm back at you with another video and I know that I haven't made a video in a long time but you guys know my story I've been busy with school I'm in my last year and I'm just trying to get this degree y'all I just wanted to make this video for two reasons one to as you guys can see the title this is another installment to the love christ series or is it love god i don't remember um and also i wanted to make a few announcements about the channel just want to let y'all know that um when i graduate i will be back and i have a very um i have a lot of interesting videos that i can't wait to share with y'all um one video that i've been wanting to film for a long time and i finally get to film it this thursday y'all wish me luck and let's hope filming goes well and we can get this video to y'all because i'm i'm i am 100% confident that you guys will like this video as much as I am gonna like it. Yeah, I can't wait. So you guys stay tuned for that. And also, I wanted to quick shout out to Firmu Glasses. This is where I got these glasses from. Um, you guys, anyone who re watches my channel is familiar with my channel, y'all know that I've gotten a pair of Firmu Glasses before I did a review on them right here. And clearly, I like them enough that I went back. And so this time I went for something more professional, kind of neutral kind of something that I could wear to a job interview and I really like them. I like them way better than my $300 Ray-Ban glasses that were a big waste of my money. These what were, I don't even remember how much these were but they were cheap. 20 some dollars. Like these are really good glasses. So um, I'll definitely get you some firm glasses. You guys won't be sorry. I'll leave you a link in the description bar. I think they're having a sale right now. They're always having a sale so go take advantage of that. Even if you don't wear glasses, you know, I mean just hook it up for yourself. On to the topic of the video. Today, I can't wait to talk to you guys because um, it's gonna be a real quick tidbit. Most of these Love Christ videos are meant to be quick, three, five minute tidbits. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. So this is actually, I'm gonna share with you guys one of the number one things to remember that will change the way you view your Christian walk, if you don't know it already. Philippians 2.13, which says, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. So what does that mean? It means that God is the one who does, creates in you this desire to want to do things that please him. And it's God who helps you to even carry out these actions. So what does that mean? That means that your righteousness comes from God. And this is something that I feel like once I started to really think of it more deeply this way, because I always knew that God is the one who helps me to do good but the desire to do good that's something that once I really looked at this verse deeply I was just like whoa literally the reason why I even pray and I want to pray is because God created that desire in me the reason why I want to read the Bible or do Bible studies or do this is that and the third is because God created that desire in me if we as Christians can understand that our righteousness comes from God there'll be a lot less people who are self-righteous if you can sit there and you can sing to the glory of God not for your own glory, not for the glory of anybody else, but to the glory of God. It's because God did that in you. God created that desire in you to sing for his glory. And if you're in a place where you feel like, okay, well, I'm not praying like I used to. I'm not singing for God's glory like I used to. I'm not reading my Bible like I used to. Let me get back to doing all these things. I'm telling you, if you don't involve God in your getting back to where you need to be, you won't succeed. Because the Bible says in Galatians 3, 3, it says, Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Bruh, God, by His Holy Spirit, cleansed you and transformed you into a new creature. You cannot become perfect through your flesh. If you find yourself in a place where you're backsliding, if you find yourself in a place where you're not doing the things you once did, you're not praying like you used to, fasting like you used to, you don't want to go to church anymore, you don't want to read your Bible, you don't want to talk, to talk about Jesus with anybody, you're watching, listening, and doing the things that you used to do that didn't please God. I, I really urge you to get on your knees and pray and say, God, please complete what you started in me and help me to get back to where I need to be. And I am confident that God will do so. Because his word has made it clear that he will help you and lead you into all righteousness if you so let him. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today. I feel like there's so much more that can be said about this. But I wanted to let you guys know that your righteousness comes from God. Don't ever feel as if you reading your Bible from A to Z is because you are so pious. No. 
If you have that desire to read the Bible from A to Z, God gave you that desire. Recognize who it is, and you better give credit where credit is due. Because there's nobody on this earth. If there's somebody who can preach, and they preach with the power of God, it is God who did that in them. They didn't do anything. All they did was sit there and let God use them. If there's somebody who can sing to the glory of God, it is God who did that in them. So we have to come to that place where we understand that literally your righteousness, your ability, or your your their giftings to even use to God comes from God. So let's give credit where credit is due. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. It's not really that much crazy deep, but I wanted it to be something that you guys could look at and be encouraged by. But I'll be doing more of these. So yeah, if you have any questions about anything, concerning this big nice old book there's actually a lot of topics that we'd like to talk about that might be a little bit longer but since we're getting back into the swing of things we want to keep it nice sweet and short and this i feel like is a good inaugural message <clears throat> yeah i feel like this is a good little inaugural message so yeah if you guys have any questions about the word any questions about this or any questions about anything pertaining to the bible go ahead and ask it we might we can do it in our next I can talk about it in the next Love Christ installment. And you guys notice I'm trying to be quiet because I live with other people and I don't want to wake them up. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys stay tuned for the um, new videos that are coming out. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Um, and stay blessed. And yeah, love, peace, and blessings to everybody. Bye.